Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Wednesday Facebook Live. Take a look at our member benefit and the upcoming uh, weekly and monthly classes. Today, we're going to focus on how we can get better with charcoal drawing. I'm going to talk about the materials first and before we go into uh, the techniques, expand into another section next week. Let's first talk about charcoal. How many charcoals we're talking about? Uh, most commonly, and we can take a look. And like say, the vine charcoal is uh, all the students will use vine charcoal or willow charcoals uh, in school. And uh, take a look at the charcoal over here. And this is a medium sized uh, vine charcoal stick. The willow charcoal is coming from the willow tree, and so the vine charcoal coming from the vine. There is this like a burn into uh, the charcoal the way it is. And if you have any questions, um, please put it into under the, the video. And if I cannot get to it during the talk, I will make sure I get to it after. Okay. So it has different, different uh, sizes, and usually the length is just this. Uh, is just, you can't break it into smaller. Um, so we're gonna talk about the techniques a little bit later. But one thing I want to call for your attention is when you buy uh, a box of charcoal, a vine charcoal or willow charcoals, you make sure you take a look at the bottom over here is a medium. That means the softness of the charcoal. And a lot of, of my students uh, in the school, they, they uh, frustrated is it? Oh my God! I cannot actually uh, uh, draw anything. Uh, when I draw it on the paper, and it doesn't stick, and the, most likely you probably use a very hard charcoal on a very hard surface uh, paper. In that case, nothing can touch to each, to each other. And we can talk about papers right after here. Okay. So, uh, my recommendations for. A uh, vine charcoal, a uh, willow charcoal, you will try to get uh, a medium right here or soft. Okay, it's easier to use. Uh, that so all depends on the paper you're going to use as well. Okay, this is that. And the other is compressed charcoal. Compressed charcoal in two different forms. Uh, one is, 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 is has corners. It's like a square shape, right? This, uh, those are a compressed charcoal. This. And for example, over here, I have a whole box of compressed charcoals called square comp uh, charcoals from a blick. And you can see this, it has corners, right? So some charcoal sticks is a little bit bigger, some charcoal stick a little bit smaller. So you can choose the one that you really uh, need uh, based on the size of the drawing you're gonna do, uh, based on the paper you're gonna use, right? And some compressed charcoal, they're even bigger than this. I'm gonna show you that. And not commonly used uh, by students. And take a look at this. What do you think about this compressed charcoal? It has different colors uh, put into the charcoal already. So this is uh, a huge in the different colors, but it's a X XL charcoal. Okay, so this is the charcoal sticks. There are also some are not really commonly used by most people. There is actually charcoal can make it into like the the lead, uh, almost like a graphite pencil. And like that. Okay. Actually, when you have this, and you would need to have uh, this, uh, this kind of charcoal holder. And I can show you that. Oh, they have something in here. It's the same stick from here. So this is very easy to use. It's a push it in, right? And then release this, and that's it. 
and then you can start drawing and without you don't need to sharpen that much and uh, if you really uh, finish using it just push this in and then let it come in and there's nothing come out so it's very easy to put it in the pocket and go anywhere you want to go so get a box of this and has a uh, two different colors or even three different colors of uh, the compressed charcoal stick uh, those compressed charcoal is already uh, go through the process uh, make it in powder powder and by using different gum and different medium uh, to compress it together to create cre make the charcoals into different forms for us to use and also there is um, when you talk about um, the classical uh, drawing uh, with charcoals and also some artists they use something is called nitron uh, charcoal from different brand and so you can open it you can see that this charcoal they have a different uh, a few different it's, it's easier to sharpen and also it's not easy to break and um, also they say it's easier to erase um, speaking of erasing let's talk about erasers for charcoal drawing so uh, in the near future, I'm going to show you how I would use the nitron uh, charcoal to do some demonstrations. Okay, eraser that is, it's very commonly, it's lots of people use the white eraser, uh, the pink eraser, and the, basically the rubber eraser. And when they are plastic erasers, um, so when you are using this kind of eraser, you erase things and you will see that you will have a lot of dust. You see that? Get a lot of dust on the surface. And one of the erasers that I use most often for charcoal uh, drawing, that is a needy eraser. And when it came, it just like a, a piece of a brick, okay? So this, after you open it, you need to stretch it, okay? Constantly stretching it. And some are a little bit lighter color, some are a little bit darker gray. And you need to keep stretching it in order to activate. So make it function, make it start lifting up uh, the charcoal powder. Uh, on your uh, surface, <clears throat> on your paper. After a while, actually the erasers get get hardened, as uh, get dry and hardened. It seems like a, uh, uh, you can throw throw it away. It feel like a rock, but don't throw it away. <laughs> okay. It actually, all you need to do is keep a little temperature, and is use a hand, warm it, and stretch it. If you keep stretching it for uh, a few minutes it would become as soft as this eraser, okay? This is very easy to lift it up. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, my yeah, there are a few questions. Tell me. Um, can you talk more about the color options you get from for charcoal? Uh, color option. I think mostly they have a dark yellow and uh, a little mostly black right that's all, all we know about uh, charcoal but also from the xl charcoal over here it has uh, a brown color and have a, a kind of earth tone yellow color and so but when we talk about charcoal that mostly is about two type of charcoals that mostly we we talk about right one is black and one is white and in some of my all the lessons uh, in the past, I already talked about how you use the white charcoal. If you, uh, if you use it improperly, and you probably create some really uh, like dirty feeling. Okay, uh, I just got a, now this is a brand new needy eraser. This is the smallest size, right? So you open it and you stretch it. You don't use it like this. You don't use it like a brick. You need to stretch it. 
this is the most uh, um, common confusion. They say, I have this, but I cannot erase it. But think about like a put, think about it the same as this is now this can I stretch it. Okay, but this has to be stretched before you use it. Uh, one more thing actually, I also want to talk about the other form of charcoal. They actually charcoal powder. And this is not really uh, commonly used. So when I was uh, very young in, um, in my country, uh, I used this a few times uh, to do the elderly portrait. And this is, has a, a totally different uh, process, different from using the regular charcoal sticks. And in the future, if you're enough people interested to see a demo, I would make one. Um, Another question. Yes. Um, whenever I try to blend uh, vine charcoal, the whole thing disappears. Is that to be expected? Yep. That is uh, candy. Now, let's talk about paper. As a paper would actually would create a problem for you if you don't use the paper properly. Uh, for s what paper is about, the paper has thickness, right? A different thickness of paper. I have a lot of different sample of paper over here. Let's spend a couple minutes, talk, talk through the paper. And if you use a, a charcoal that is really, like a, this is charcoal pencil, also compressed charcoal. And it's, this is also have medium, hard, and soft, extra soft. Uh, so let me show you that. That's just a uh, ch different um, charcoal pencil. This is uh, this one. You can peel the paper off uh, the the wrapper, and and t came out to be uh, it's the same as. So if you use it, this is is a little bit more convenience. Of course, a little bit more expensive by having this set. So, so if you use a very hard. Uh, uh, compressed charcoal. If you use a hard compressed charcoal, uh, but and your paper is very hard, in that case, you cannot really actually put your charcoal stay in the paper. It is not in the paper when you wipe it; it will be just off the paper. That is is a common sense. Uh, but sometimes we're not aware of the combination between that. Let's talk about the paper that that you commonly see. This is sketch paper. Sketch paper is is okay to use it for charcoal exercise. Um, it is is soft enough. Uh, the the you just touch it. The the paper surface is just soft soft enough. It's easier to uh to to blend in uh the charcoal in here. So let me show you over here. And if you, because the texture of the paper, you can see that it has texture. And in that case, if you want to have the, have the texture a little bit softer, uh, you would use some kind of blending to blend it onto the paper. So one is if your hand is not oily or is clean, it's not water, in that case, you can softly blend it into to create a little bit softer uh, look. Young. Yes. Young. Question about blenders. If you can repeat it so that they can hear it, because they can't hear me on the Facebook. If, if you're using a paper blender, do you peel them back? How do you... Um, oh, you, if you use the paper blender, something like that, uh, right? Paper blender. And that is, is not really something you can peel it off. You can, you can peel it off, just the whole thing peeled off. But over here, you either use it, blend it on a, a, a piece of scrap paper, and it will clean up. You see that? It's all the clean. So you can continue using the blender. And this is only the paper, okay? It's the paper uh, blender. And also the other thing you can use is just get a piece of paper towel, and you can blend it as well. It's the same thing as you it's not exactly the same thing, but it creates different textures and different kind of paper tower, uh, some softer, some harder, and or it just create a different kind of feeling and texture uh, when you blend them. Okay, sometimes I blend it uh, directly with the 
uh, with the wood over here. Uh, just blend it like that. And also blend it with uh, the paper that already on here. So you can blend it right this way, okay? So a blending, it, you can use, a, try a different uh, material to blend it. If you use a piece of cloth, uh, it will be very soft. Uh, just make it very smooth. If you use a brush to blend it, it may be a different kind of material brush. It brings it a little bit differently. So we're gonna talk more about the technique part uh, in the near future, maybe in next week. Okay, uh, that's just the sketch paper. And the other type is, uh, we can see that is color pencil. The color pencil paper is uh, similar, the surface similar to sketch paper and drawing paper, but it's a little bit thicker and also a little bit solid, okay? And the Bristol paper, and it's very hard. You see that? Especially it's called smooth surface. You look at the bottom here with smooth surface. In this case, you cannot really have anything stick to it. Like, okay, let's try it. Uh, I'm going to get a, a piece of wine charcoal. If I'm going to draw it on the paper, right? It looks cool, huh? But, Wipe it off, it's very easily. It's just when you try to brand it, it actually not, you're not branding. You just wipe off that. It's just have a very little minimum that stick to the paper. So in this case, you were thinking about what kind of um, hard, medium, or soft, and, and maybe the wax uh, agents for um, as the medium to glue that stick together. So you gotta, or you use the gum type of, so this is most commonly is use the gum to glue them together. And by if you glue that with the, in the process using the wax, it will be similar to um, the regular color pencil. So you feel, try different materials to see which one is a little bit better for you. So this one is, uh, is very smooth. And it may not really good for uh, the charcoal drawing. The charcoal drawing may be better with uh, some a little bit softer paper, like a pastel paper. It's pretty soft, right? So, so pastel paper is very soft on the surface, and also uh, you can feel the whole page, the page as it's soft. And also the surface has enough texture to hold on the charcoal. And also have enough uh, holes. And when you see, zoom in, really look into uh, the surface of the paper, you can see a, a lot of different holes. So you can have the charcoal can embed it into the paper. Uh, mixed medium paper, uh, this is also pretty hard paper. It's probably good with a little um, harder uh, charcoal and color pencil. This is, will be work really well. Um, finally, we we'll take take a look at the charcoal uh, paper. The charcoal paper make for uh, the charcoal drawing, and this and you can see the paper very soft, and also it's very uh, textured uh, on the surface. So try different paper to see whether or not they are good for your way of drawing. Okay, a different, everybody have different process and have a different uh, kind of technique you like to use. Uh, and I also sometimes use this very soft texture paper uh, for the mixed media. Uh, you can see it up the top over here. It's a mixed media pad. That's also very good paper for that. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular. Uh, drawing paper. This is uh, the regular drawing paper. It can be very well uh, served for graphite pencil uh, drawing or the charcoal drawings. And um, so like this drawing I did um, uh, last month and it's still pretty well reserved. I did not split anything, but it still stay there, right? So this is a part is for the paper and the time is almost up. Um, so if you have any questions, um, please put it into uh, under the video and I'm gonna take a look at them and we're gonna planning our next section. I want to talk about how to use the charcoal to draw a portrait. Please come to visit us.
and the enjoyingart.com. If you're already a member, you want to prepare our painting section, which is coming up、uh, next Friday and every Friday after that. See you next week.